following is a Worldwide Church of God presentation. opens in five minutes. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ambassador Auditorium for Festival 86. And now, the Young Ambassadors.
Yahoo! Here I come! Hey, wait for me! <laughs> Look out below! Hello, everybody! It's tour time! Hi, kids! Hello! Here comes old Beacon for two-point landing. Nice and soft, like Mama taught me. <laughs> Looks like everybody beat me here. Well, I guess we're ready to begin, so welcome! Welcome to your special festival tour! Kind of surprised you to see old Beak floating in like that, didn't it? Well, I got a whole lot more surprises where that came from. You came to see singing, dancing, and you're going to see a whole lot more than you bargained for. That's right. See this badge? Big Beak is going to be your very own special festival tour guide. And we'll take a sneak peek with the Beak. And I'll show you what this show is all about. I'm talking to you. I mean, each and every one of you out there in the festival audience right now. From Baguio to Mount Pocono, from Colorado to Sacramento, from Rotorua to Yulatula. This tour has something for everyone, for the little bitty people and all the grown-ups, too. We'll have lots of fun. You won't want to miss a minute, so come along now, and here we go. Follow me. And as we initially commence to start to peruse this magnificent campus, well, feel free at any point in time to stop and ask me uh, some questions you may have on your mind. Just remember, please speak up. You see, I don't have any ears. <laughs> Never thought about that, did you? Well, come on now. Let's follow me. That's right. A little closer. I won't bite. <laughs> oh, now, where was I? Oh, yes. I'm going to take you places that nobody else could possibly take you. And me, myself, and I am going to do well. I'm, uh, uh, oh, no, my balloons flew away. Oh, well, I guess what comes down must go back up, huh? Well, they're kind of pretty in the sun like that. Say, speaking of something really pretty, well, take a look at that building back over there. Yeah, across the water, that's Mayfair. Yeah, that was built after the turn of the century. Say. Have you ever thought about what it might have been like if we had been uh, around here in Pasadena, oh, say, 75 years ago? Well, wonder no more. Just look over there, and I'll show you. Cruising down the river on a Sunday afternoon with one you love, the sun above, waiting for the moon. The old accordions playing a sentimental tune. Cruising down the river. Sunday afternoon The birds above are singing of love A gentle sweet refrain The winds around don't make a sound Like softly falling rain Just two of us together Picture you upon my knee, just tea for two and two for tea. Just me for you and you for me alone. Nobody near us to see us or hear us. No friends or relations on weekend vacations. We you won't have it no dear that we own a telephone. Me 
to take for all the boys to see. Pretty neat, huh? I just love those special effects. 
Well, here we are right now at the uh, editing control room in the TV studio. Yeah, we're going to take a look behind the scenes and see exactly how those special effects are done. <laughs> I'm going to show you. Hey, look at that board. All those buttons there just kind of crying out to be tweaked by the beak, as it were. Kind of eh, makes you quiver, doesn't it? Say, you do remember all of my uh, technical experience in the radio studio, don't you? Yeah, I think I'll put some of that to use here. Wait a minute, B. I'll be happy to show you what we do. Oh. It's not hard. It's not as hard as it looks. Just watch that monitor, and we'll make you a part of the special effects. Oh, okay. Just imagine yourself in a nice, peaceful setting like this. Well, what do you know? Here I am. Oh, that's fun. What do I do next? In a place like this, you just want to stretch out and relax. Oh, I don't feel so good. Beak, you've heard of chicken in a basket. Well, how about chicken in a box? Oh, no! Oh, my old life is passing in front of my eyes. Get me as far away from here as you can. Far away? Okay, Beak. Let's see what we can do. Whoa, that's far enough. Whee! Whoa! Whee! Ho, ho! Hi, Mr. Astronaut. One small step for mankind and one barnyard leap for the chicken. Ho, ho! Oh, Mr. Editor, um, could I be earthbound again? Earthbound, huh? That's a good idea, Beak. Hey, Mount Rushmore. Hello, Mr. President. Oh, I like it here. I could spend lots of time here. It's so beautiful. Whoa! Not that much time. <laughs> oh, I'm just flabbergasted. I could never be up there with those men. Um, hey, I can't stay here permanently. You know, I got a plane to catch so I can finish our tour. Oh, catch a plane, huh? I think we can handle that. Off we go into the wild blue. Hey, now this is a veritable enjoyment. Huh, we'll just fly on back to campus to finish our tour. This airplane handles so smoothly, it's like riding on air. Whoa, air? Oh, no! <coughs> oh, boy. Wow, those special effects are pretty realistic, aren't they? <laughs> well, B, not everything is done with special effects. Oh. If you watch the monitor, I'll show you another song from this year's show. Oh, all right.
Indeed, it's a, a pleasure to be able to talk to you, young ambassadors, and many of you have been serving with the young ambassadors for at least two years now, I would imagine. I don't know if I should ask for a show of hands, but uh, I don't think it's necessary. But uh, to me, I would like to, uh, in behalf of Mr. Armstrong's uh, absence, convey to you his heartfelt feelings, uh, what he thought about the young ambassadors, and uh, how important it was as far as the uh, church is concerned. Mr. Armstrong had the vision years ago uh, when he was in the process of starting Ambassador College, the importance uh, of music in the life of a Christian. And for that very reason, he established that class, Music Appreciation, and he had the finest instructors, knowing that the students who would learn under the instructors that he had chosen to teach the class uh, would uh, benefit from all of their experience. And this has been passed on from year to year, year to year, and then finally uh, when the young ambassadors uh, were developed uh, to play that vital role as far as the church is concerned. Well, at Ambassador College, uh, as all of us are aware of, we're here to recapture true values that the Word of God is the foundation of all knowledge. And in a few years, as some of you are now uh, ready to, to leave the nest and go on to other pursuits, uh, it's very important uh, as far as this juncture in life is concerned that we remember all of the, the blessings, all of the opportunities that uh, we have received here at Ambassador College. One of the sins of ancient Israel was that they never did remember. As a matter of fact, that is the uh, definition of the name Manasseh, forgetfulness. And we as ambassador uh, students want to always remember uh, this uh, as our home, the educational institution where we have received the utmost blessings that uh, could be given to any individual. And in remembering what you have learned here, like I said, when you go on to other pursuits, maybe some of you, some of you are planning on getting married, and when you do uh, start having a family, that you will use all of the experience that you gained here, your performances with the young ambassadors, that having remembered your part in it, that uh, stressing that one point, remembering uh, to pass these things on to your offspring, and they're the ones that are going to uh, benefit from it and will be uh, that much better for it.
why did they pick the right guy for this tour guide job? <laughs> I know this campus like the back of my foot. But you know, I thought we'd better stop by the office here for a moment. We've got to check the campus schedule of activities to see where we should be right now. I hope we're not late. Uh, oh, oh, excuse me, there's a call coming on my special phone here. I... Hello? Uh, no, no, there's no Donald here. You must, must have the wrong number. Well, thank you for calling. Oh, that's funny. Oh, Donald! You know, that reminds me of a very funny story here. I hope I can just take a moment here and tell you a little bit about this. Lean back here and... Whoa! Where am I? Oh, who turned out the light? Oh, my head. Oh, I remember. I was giving a tour. Tour group! Where did everybody go? Oh, I know. I'll get out my tour guide flashlight. Hey, I feel better already. Now, beat you done at this time. You gotta get that bookcase fixed. Tell you what else you gotta do. You gotta stop getting lost when you're a tour guide. No, oh, yeah. How embarrassing that would be if anyone could see me right now. Tour group, where are you? Don't go to lunch without me. Imagine if no one ever saw me again. Oh, man. I could almost get scared, especially with all that scary music around here. Tour group! Hey! Look at that. No, it's locked. Tour group, is that you back there? I think I hear something. Oh, and yeah, my light even went out. Hello, tour group? Tour group, are you out there? Uh, it's me, Beak. That's a different room and everything. Whoa! Oh, I've got a very bad feeling about this. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, it's locked again. Oh, I'd better get out of here. Whoa! Whoa! Someone grabbed my hand! Oh, hey, I was just leaving. Oh, well, don't tell me you want me to sit here. Okay, well, I can't stay long. Say, I must have this chair, I suppose I, uh...
Hello? Oh, hi. Uh, ha. Hey, sorry to leave you in the dark like that, but, uh, you know, I'd taken you back there myself, but there was really nothing much to see at all, you know, just a few chairs and a few tables and a few dozen dancers and stuff. And... Hey, Vico, I've got some mail for you. Oh, mail. Oh, for me? Oh, I love mail. Look at all that. Hundreds and hundreds of pieces of mail. For me, that's fantastic. Load me up. Come on, put it on it. Well, that's it for the month. Oh. Uh, thanks a lot. Hey, I tell you what. Why don't we just take a moment? I know we got a tour to go through here, but let's just... Sometimes these are really good. I like to read these questions and stuff from children. Let's see what this one says. Here we go. Dear Big Beak, the last we saw of you, you were a special student at Ambassador College. Will you graduate soon? Oh, yes. Yeah, a matter of fact, I've already graduated. I know it came as a surprise to me, too, but remember that radio studio course I was taking? Well, when I finished that, they said, Big Beak, you're through at Ambassador College. I said, thank you very much. I appreciate graduating so soon. Hey, you want to see some more of those letters? Oh, I got lots. Some of these are pretty interesting. Why don't we just take a moment here? Let's see. Here we go. I think you'll enjoy this one. It says, Dear Big Beak, You seem to have a certain way with words and gestures. I suppose I do. I don't know. Have you ever been to Ambassador Club? Oh, yeah. Just the other night. I was in Ambassador Club as a special guest. And they had me get up and give a speech and everything. And they presented me with a special cup. At the bottom of it, it said, so the speaker, most likely to improve at some point in time, hopefully. But that was real nice of them. I like that great big plaque at the bottom of it. Let's see. Oh, here's another one. Oh, you don't mind, do you? I, this is really fun. I like this. Here's one. It says, Dear Big Beak, it's written in Crayola. It says, um, Being from the farm, do you find it hard driving in California? As a matter of fact, I had an easy bin of difficulty just the other day. I was driving along, minding my own business. A policeman pulled me over to the side of the road. And he said, could you get out of the car, please? And I said, yes, sir, Mr. Officer, sir. And he said, could I have your name? And I said, well, I suppose you could. But that would be a terrific coincidence, don't you think? And he didn't laugh at all. And he said, uh, I want to know why you were driving straight down the middle of the road on the line, speeding. You weren't going to the left or the right, right on the line. I said, look, I was merely doing what it says on the bottom of my driver's license. He said, I want to see that. I said, see right there, it says, tear along the dotted line. Yeah, that's what it said, really. <laughs> Imagine that. Hey, I tell you what, this is really getting fun. Let's look at a couple of more of these here and see what this one says here. Oh, here's a good one. It says, dear Big Beak, when you talk, why don't your lips move? Well, I tell you what. In actuality, it's because I'm a ventriloquist. Imagine that. Here we go. Oh, hey, look. Here's that campus schedule of activities I was looking for. Let's see, where should we be? Oh, no, I wonder what time it is. I hope we're not late. Oh, no! Oh, boy, we got to get out of here, folks. Tell you what, don't worry about a thing right now. Uh, I can take care of everything. Just hold on tight. Let's spin right on over there. Whee! Hey, did everybody make it okay? Well, as the tour continues, I thought it'd be real fun to come to the auditorium because they're going to be doing some videotaping any minute. And say, you know what? I looked on the cruise sheet and it seems an old friend of mine may be working here right now. It's Mr. C. Crane. I'd like to introduce you to him because some of my best friends are cranes, you know. So just step on over to the right and I'll take a look on stage. There's lots of things to see here. And if you look up towards these lights here, you can see all the stage lights. And then we got the, uh, all the stage sets here and stuff. Isn't this pretty? See it up real close. Here's the pianos and stuff. And, excuse us, uh, we don't really mean to interrupt or anything, but uh, could you tell me if there's a Mr. C. Crane here today? I'm sorry, but there's no one here by that name. You might want to check backstage. Oh, yeah? Oh, I saw his name on the cruise sheet. I 
Well, you've got a lot of gizmos and gadgets and stuff here. You know, hi, ladies. Look, just pretend we're not here or anything. We don't really want to interrupt, but uh, I'd like to find my friend, Mr. Crane. Okay, ladies, we're going to be working this next shot with our camera crane. And uh, Mrs. Walter, that camera hanging right there to your right is our remote controlled camera and it can uh, tilt up and down and it can pan left and right. And that is all going to be controlled by our operator right out here in the audience, Mark. And I think we're just about ready, Mark, if we want to frame this shot. And okay, Tony, we want to boom up from this angle. Be nice and easy. Now, when we go across the pianos, we want to make this a little bit faster move. And as we get to Mrs. Duke's piano, I'd like to come down on her keyboard and get the same kind of, nice and easy, same kind of shot. Wait a minute, I'm seeing something yellow back there. Cam One, could you give me a shot of that, please? Oh, it's Big Beak. Wish I could find Mr. Crane. He, he's really a good friend of mine. He's got a lot of talent and everything, you know, and birds of a feather kind of flock together, so... Uh, like to show him to you, but you know, did you ever get a feeling like you're like you're being watched? Whoa! Excuse me, merci beaucoup. Hey, what is that? Big, big. That's what we call a camera crane. Well, at least we see eye to eye. Well, wh wait a minute. You said that's a crane? That's right. That's a camera crane. Yeah, it seems friendly enough. Beak, uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do some more work with this camera crane. So why don't you go over to that monitor that we've set up over on the other side of the stage there. Take everyone over there, and oh, we'll okay. show you what we can do with this camera crane. All righty, thank you. Uh, we'll go over here now, and look, just pretend we're not here, okay? I don't mean to interrupt, but... And camera one to starting position, please. Now, this is going to be fun. Thank you. 
great day of the feast Jesus stood and he cried aloud to the Jews and the Pharisees and the chief priests he addressed the assembled crowd if any man thirst let him come unto me and he'll never thirst again and from out of his mouth living water shall flow everlasting life for all
Brethren, this year God has opened many exciting new doors for his work. And he has shown us that there is a great deal more to do in the coming years ahead. Together, as one family, united in love and in harmony, we must move onward to complete the work that God has given to us, his church. Oh, no.